Well, I'm the uh, founder of Stratasys. Um, I'm the CEO and uh, president. Uh, Stratasys is uh, located um, the corporate headquarters in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the United States. But we have uh, uh, locations, uh, support and sales locations uh, worldwide. We have uh, about 350 employees worldwide now and growing. We're on the, the NASDAQ and have a uh, market cap now of about over $300 million. I originally um, uh, started the invention and uh, early stage development of the fused deposition modeling, or known as uh, FDM, uh, about 15, 16 years ago. We, uh, we just uh, installed uh, our uh, 6,000 system uh, at Dell Computer just a, a few months ago. Over the last uh, 15 years, we've made um, significant progress uh, from early uh, wax models uh, that were used primarily for investment casting um, into um, a, a significant leap forward was into the real production grade uh, plastics. The first one was uh, ABS, uh, which got us into uh, function. So or, originally it was form and fit, and then that uh, moved us into functional prototypes. Um, and here in the last uh, four years, we've been able to um, offer production grade plastics from ABS all the way up to the high temperature um, uh, polyphenol sulfones that will resist temperatures uh, uh, of about 200 degrees C. We have uh, seven uh, uh, commercial uh, materials and of course uh, many different colors within that, that uh, range. And we have a, basically a system that is one button push. You hit the button, you can get the part out. Over the last three and a half, four years, we've grown from close to zero rapid manufacturing applications uh, or direct additive uh, manufacturing applications to uh, about 15% of our business now as where the systems are being used for um, in-use parts. Um, and I, I think that we're offering uh, the real production grade plastics uh, so companies can uh, go from what was maybe going to be an injection molding uh, application uh, or maybe early stage in the process rather than waiting the, the 10 to 14 weeks they're you know producing the the early stage parts um, or the custom parts mm -hmm. um, on our um, FDM systems with the additive uh, rapid manufacturing. One of our biggest um, or bigger applications is um, uh, the the biggest uh, cash machine uh, ATM machine uh, Diebold. Uh, in order to put their uh, systems in the actual uh, wall or the outside wall of their uh, the banks that they apply them on. That's usually one or two, you don't have a lot of different uh, buildings, so you have unique buildings. And the fascia of that, or the frame of that, um, comes from our system. Those are uh, either outputted uh, you know, from, from their system, or they might do two or three uh, fascias if it's uh, the, the same type of uh, style of uh, building. Um, and that's a vandal-proof application, so we have a bulletproof um, output uh, called polycarbonate. Uh, which is the same type of material that's uh, the front lens of your car. Um, and then uh, they, of course, paint that. So when you see the, the front of these um, uh, ATMs, not the one you see at the airport, but the, the ones in the bank buildings, uh, that's a real good example. Um, and the, but then there's a lot of uh, spare part applications as, as well, where if you just need uh, the one part and you need it right now, um, or um, uh, like at uh, Bell & Howell where they're using our system to do uh, just in time one part, one part, one part for their, uh, for their machines that, uh, that are going down their line rather than having a whole bunch of inventory. I strongly believe that uh, the rapid manufacturing or additive uh, manufacturing uh, will actually be bigger and larger than the rapid prototyping uh, technology industry that we know today. And you can see that historically there's significantly more manufacturing uh, technology or products out there than uh, there ever will be for just uh, design or drafting or those elements that uh, go around engineering. Because the technology allows you to take the real production grade thermoplastics, put it through, essentially it's a liquefier pump, and what goes in comes out. There's no change to it. There's no degrading of the plastic. Um, so you can get certified materials and you know that those are the same materials coming out. We're in the process right now of uh, 
uh, completing commercialization of, um, we have uh, some blends out there today, is the uh, polycarbonate uh, ABS blend, which is what your, um, uh, your mobile is made out of, your handy, uh, as well as the uh, different toys for uh, kids. It's uh, scratch proof as well as a very, very tough material um, as a blend of the polycarbonate and the, and the ABS. Um, uh, other uh, uh, more longer term uh, plastic applications for FDM are the uh, composites. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, the nano uh, FDM thermoplastics, um, that's uh, given us a real nice long term path because uh, it uh, allows thermoplastic but also some extremely uh, good characteristics uh, of uh, either stiffness or uh, different properties than you get from the normal thermoplastics.